Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to override the header. There are three ways to do this. I know how to do it in two ways. The third way is called a gross layout override. And in Cloud Crazes documentation, they have a sample. I tried to go through the sample, but it didn't work for me. Um, this will look less updated 2019. Um, a trouble I had with was the API name. If you're feeling confident, you can try it this way. I'll show you the two other ways. All right, so we're gonna go back to the page. Um, what we're gonna do, the first step is to make a Visual Force page. I'm gonna name it all. And I'm gonna go back here. Now the template for this is called header. So I'm gonna do my type equals text template and it's called header desktop. So what we do is we grab it all and we go back to our Visual Force page and we paste it. And we do the funky attributes into this Apex page. Now I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna go back into CC Admin. I'm gonna go to Default Store, Configuration Settings. New, Body Include and Enabled, Page just to do all, for the value do true. Do new again, body include end, page include name, all, and then the value be C underscore underscore all. I'm going to go back to global settings, cache management, and we're going to build a new config. All right, it's done. So I'm going to activate it and deactivate it. Go back to my Visual Force page and add something that says I'm me. Well, accidentally copied that too. But anyways, I'm going to do something that says Amanda. I'm going to say that again. I'm going to go back to Google, new uh, control shift R, and here we go, you see my account Amanda, and if you move around, it'll say Amanda everywhere, uh, since we used the all, that means this header template's gonna get overwritten everywhere. Now, this is the first way. Now, the second way, if you wanna be fancy, is you can use the CCRZ UI properties. And you can override it. So you can, I'll just do YouTube header desktop. And then I'm gonna save it again. And I want to show you something too. You know what? I'm going to put it here console.log. So if you want to see what UI properties there are, what I do is I just console log everything so I can know what's included in that object. Header view. Let's save it again. And we should get the same effect. Should do the exact same thing. Yeah, my account Amanda is still up there. And if I do inspect console, now we have these two objects. So here's the header view object. It has a desktop of YouTube header desktop, which I overwritten. 
and then we have the phone one what hmm yeah it's kind of weird where um i only have to edit edit the desktop and it still has that change from the desktop script template so it's just an observation and then we have the big ui dot properties and then you have more stuff right here all right and that's it that's how you edit and also I want to show you something else. Let's get rid of the search. Because I also want to show you that this header also includes the stuff down here as well and the image. So I'm going to do control shift R and that should be gone. Yep, it is. All right, that's all I have to share today. Bye.